Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday night right now, it's like 9 o'clock and I didn't do anything this afternoon, I don't think, but after dinner I went to a gym class at from 7 till 8 and it was a body attack class and it was like a really intense like cardio sports aerobics kind of class and I... At my gym, there's so many different classes called, like, slightly different things, and I can never remember, like, which ones I've been to and what they're called and, like, which ones I haven't tried yet. So I went in there not sure if I'd done it before, and as soon as we started, I was like, oh, my God, I've done this before, and I felt sick and almost passed out afterwards. And I that time I did it, the first time I was with Amber, and we sat out the front, and it was really hot summer, I remember. And we sat out the front of the gym, like, literally dying, and I felt like... I was going to pass out, like I was so dizzy, but this time it was still absolute death, but I didn't feel dizzy, I felt a little bit sick, mainly just because I haven't been to the gym in ages, and my cardio, cardiovascular fitness, I guess, my, I'm really bad at cardio, it's, my cardiovascular fitness is really low, anyway, that's all done and dusted, and I'm really glad I went, because I was considering not going, and as I said to the vlog before, if I leave it late to go to the gym, like if I don't go straight from school and I leave it late, in the night to go I often don't go and I'm not motivated to go but when I decided that I was going to go to a class that makes me more motivated and now that I'm home I feel even more motivated it's been a while since I got home obviously I finished at eight and I really need to go have a shower which is what I'm going to do right now but I got a very exciting email which is what's kind of got me distracted um and yeah it got me back on I guess kind of like a YouTube kind of grind I guess not really I just been I don't know whenever I get exciting emails I get really excited about like my YouTube channel growing and everything like that so I want to say thank you to you guys because I just got an email from Loving Tan like to reach out to me to ask me if I would like some of their products and to me that is literally so exciting like that along with Daniel Wellington and Zaffel are literally like they're all so high up there like I'm so so excited about it and obviously it wouldn't have wouldn't have happened if you guys didn't support me and subscribe and always comment lovely things and like my videos. So I really appreciate you guys. And now there is 5,400 of you. So thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it so much. And it allows me to do really cool things and get really exciting emails. So yeah, I'm really, really grateful for that. And that's how my Monday night is going. I need to do a little bit of math study and bio study i think after i have a shower so i'll have a shower now and get all crazy in my pjs and just do a bit of study until i'm tired and ready for bed and yeah that's my monday night and i think i'll talk to you guys tomorrow hey everyone so it's tuesday night now and it's nine o'clock once again that's where i always start the vlog start the clip at nine o'clock but it's because i've just had my shower and everything and gotten in my pyjamas as like my study break because I sometimes do that if I plan on doing a lot of work throughout the afternoon and like I'm working like all throughout the after afternoon if that makes sense so like I'll plan what I want to do around having dinner because obviously I have to have dinner and like that's just whenever mum cooks it and then I go and sit down and eat it with the family so that's like a break for me and study and then I'll do a bit more study and then I'll have my shower as my like second break and like try and do my different things around that that kind of thing so before I was doing home ec um and yeah that's my assignment I haven't really explained that to the vlog and I can't really be bothered to do it now I might like kind of talk about what exams and assignments I have next week because next week is when my exam block starts and when it gets really hectic but this week I'm just kind of preparing for the hecticness um, and I actually have a mini exam tomorrow, which is what I'm preparing for as well. So it's currently week eight this week and my exam book runs over half of week nine and half of week 10. So like the last half of week nine and the first half of week 10. But all of my exams except one, which is the netball exam. So literally playing netball, so not really an exam at all. Um, all of my exams are in week nine, like towards the end of end half of week nine. So next week, except... Yeah, the netball one, and then I also have a maths one tomorrow morning, but it's only 30 minutes, and basically it's just one question from the long exam that will be, like, next week in exam block, and it's just, like, a really time-consuming kind of question that we have to be assessed on, so they, like, separated it so that they make sure everyone does the question, everyone gets assessed on it, 
and so it doesn't like take up a lot of time during the normal like two hour exam and exam block. So I'm studying for that right now. We're doing like navigation in maths and I do not understand the entire concept at all whatsoever. And yeah, right now I'm just studying specifically for like the one question in the exam tomorrow. And that's like 30 minutes straight up first thing, 8.30 in the morning tomorrow. And then we have a study day for the rest of the day, which I'm honestly so keen about. So keen about? So excited about and keen for, I think is what I was going to say, but then I just like couldn't decide. Anyway, so the rest of the day tomorrow is study day and we could actually sign up for different things this time. Usually it's just like free study, do whatever you want in a random classroom. But I signed up for an English tutorial um, like bio help so I'm like in a classroom with a bio teacher and then like free study at the end of the day so that should be good because I have exams for English and bio and pretty much like every subject ever so yeah that's the plan for tomorrow and that's the plan for tonight as well and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow hey guys so it's Thursday night now and I did not vlog yesterday as I said I would but basically the best exam actually went a lot better than I thought I did which I thought it I thought it would why can't I speak it went a lot better than I thought it would have and I answered the question fully I don't know if my answer was right but at least I knew how to answer the question which was probably my main goal so I think I might have passed that which is really good news <laughs> still have the rest of the exam to go but that was still a pretty good bit of a confidence boost and then the study day was nothing much really that was still fine and then I had work I don't know if I already told you guys this but I'm working Obviously last night, tonight, and tomorrow night as well. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And yeah, so I worked last night and then I just went home and watched State of Origin because State of Origin was on last night. And did like a little bit of bio study because I'd been doing bio like during the study day. But that was all. And tonight obviously I had work again. School was a bit of a nothing day. And I want to do a grocery haul for you because I'm really excited about my grocery bag. So basically... I think I told you guys in the vlog a while ago when I was doing my assignment for home ec that I did an essay on plastic bags and how they like should be banned and like how bad they are for their environment and if it's just for sustainability. And it's so weird because literally as soon as I started doing that assignment, like all of the shops were like banning plastic bags. Now they're banning plastic straws. Like Woolies isn't going to sell plastic straws. They're reducing their um, plastic packaging on like fruit and veg and it's just a whole lot happening and I'm really really excited for sustainability because now that I've done that assignment and like learned so much about it at school I'm like really passionate about like I don't know just being more sustainable and not using plastic plastic is bad guys I have used plastic water bottles occasionally on my channel so I do not promote that I just don't have a water bottle at the moment but I do reuse them so I always reuse your plastic if you have to buy plastic anyway moral of the story is I got this really cute bag because mum met me at Woolies after work so I could buy my ingredients for home ec tomorrow because I'm actually cooking in home ec which is really exciting and I got in this bag which is like the Woolies reusable like um I don't know what it's called but it's like mesh like like crepey I don't really know what it's called hessian I think it's hessian but basically these are the best um like reusable bags that you can get like the plasticky ones that are just like sturdier plastic that are reusable they're still not great for the environment the other ones like are better but not as good the hessian ones are the best ones trust me i did an assignment on it so and it's also really cute and like matches my aesthetic so like that's exciting it was three dollars worth the buy so now it's going to be my like home ec bag for when i cook in home ec basically i'm doing a quick haul tomorrow i'm making a dark chocolate and chia seed muffins which is really exciting because I get to make something sweet and I bought gluten-free plain all-purpose flour it's not focusing but that's fine you'll know what flour looks like some black chia seeds from the same brand as the bag actually actually it's like the Woolies like home brand organic range like the macro stuff got some brown sugar got some I got a lot of chocolate got some baking chocolate because basically it needs baking chocolate to melt to like make the muffins chocolatey and then like chunks to put mix through it as well so I got that because that was on sale and I love dark chocolate and then oh those are mum's bananas I don't need bananas in my muffins though for mum and they're in plastic I know how sad but anyway I wouldn't have put them in plastic that was mum anyway I'm cooking tomorrow I might show you like the end product. I probably won't be out of vlog in class, but I might show you the end product and the process and 
yeah, now I'm gonna have a shower, wash my hair and go to bed. Woo! Hey everyone, so it's Friday night now and what's the first thing I have to say before I start? Oh, the chocolate muffins, they turned out so well. You would have obviously seen me cooking them so I just thought I'd inform you and update you that they tasted amazing and I got some really good feedback from all the gals. So I think I'll actually leave the recipe down below because I obviously showed them a lot so you might want to know how to cook them. So yeah, I'll put the recipe in the description box if anyone cares. If not, we'll move along. It's Friday night now and I got home from work a couple of hours ago, like I said, and I popped on a tan already. I'm like pretty much done for the night, um, but I just thought I'd vlog to update you guys. So I put on a tan. I need to straighten my hair still, so I'm about to do that now. Um, and I just finished packing my bag because as you would probably have noticed, like uh, quite a few weekends... I've been staying at Gareth's on Friday nights, like after school and then sleeping there and going with him to rugby on Saturday. But tomorrow is actually the very last round of rugby union for the boys and like the inter-school competition, which is um, quite a big deal to them. Um, and it's actually at their home grounds, which is even more kind of exciting and makes it like a, even better and more of like a big event kind of thing. Um, so I am going to that tomorrow. It's just that tonight, Gareth was working and so was I and he actually finishes at 10. His after school trips are usually 5 till 10 so I just thought it would be a bit too late and like kind of pointless if I slept over. So I'm going to, we're going to go out for breakfast tomorrow morning which is very exciting because I said a couple of weeks ago that we should do that because usually I just sleep there and we just like wake up really late and have like cocoa pops and then go to Rummy. So we're going to actually go out for breakfast tomorrow morning um, and have like a big brekkie to celebrate his last round. And then we will go to rugby. We'll go for like most of the games, um, which will be like majority of like the middle part of the day. And we'll obviously watch him and then the first, which is after him. And then there's a post, so like a rugby after party to celebrate the last round tomorrow night, which we'll go to. But yeah, I don't really need to, need to tell you guys much because I'll just vlog the whole day tomorrow anyway. But basically that's what happened that's what's happening and that's why I'm packing my bag oh I didn't even finish getting to the point of that story basically I'm sleeping at gas tomorrow night because it makes more sense because I'll spend all day with him and we'll go home together after the post because obviously it'll be a bit late tomorrow night by the time we get home and then I'll be able to just like sleep at his and hang out on Sunday morning so that's the story and that's why I'm packing my bag tonight instead of how I usually like tan and pack my bag and wash my hair and everything on a Thursday this week I'm doing it on Friday Anyway, that's my very long life story and I'm gonna go now. I'll see you nice and early tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone. It's Saturday morning now and we're on our way on our way to Ramekin's Cafe, which is like what time did you say it was in? Castle Dine. Castle Dine, yeah. Castle Dine. And we're just going for like they have those milkshakes that have like hair on top that look, was like made out of fairy floss. I don't actually know but I always pick the cafes I like to go to based on the Instagram <laughs> and I've seen so many people go to Ramekin so hopefully it's good. I'll show you what we get. Welcome to the vlog Gareth for the week. Yep. <laughs> What's upon it? If you are my love, come get it. And I can't fight that grip on my heart. And if love is a drug, I don't want it. Because I don't have any self control. The heart of a drug. Oh, we're just not getting a blanket. We're not getting a blanket. It's not even that cold. It is. It's not. It's fine. I'm sure you'll survive. Like I, 
case you got it. Don't ruin it because I want to find it. <laughs> Just Instagram things. Don't! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I can't I'm eat. kidding. You Sorry, I can't eat my milkshake. Did you want a photo? <laughs> yeah. How are you having a photo? Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. That looks so good. It does look good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're doing. I thought it's good on your jeans. Oh my god, no. It's a tiny spot in your pocket. Lucky. Good to know that all morning Gareth is having a go at me for picking a cafe based on, actually I pick it before today, so like all week he's been saying, I mean got me for picking a cafe based on like the Instagram and if like there's cute photo opportunities and if they have cute plates and like cute food and stuff, like food presentation. And then we get there and he goes, you've done well, Bob. You've done well. And he loves the food. Just like he thought he would, he loves his drink. I just wanted everyone to know that because yep. you've been having got me all week for this. Yep. And it actually works. You pick a um, cafe based on their Instagram. And if the people have posted photos of their food, so then you know what the food looks like. Yep, sure. <laughs> you loved it. Yeah, I did. It was good. Okay, that's it's all. Good. I just wanted you to admit it. Yeah, no, it was alright. You right. loved it. It was alright. It was okay, I guess. <laughs> So we're on the way to rugby now. How good? How do you feel? Please like Q and A time. <laughs> Pre like last is your last rugby union game ever? Pretty yeah. much. For the for your school and yeah. like it forever. Pretty much. Sorry to, <laughs> sorry to tell you the hard truth. You, you, you in the fields? Yeah. No. How do you feel? No, uh, like oh that is sexy. Um, what was it? What car was it? It was a Ram. It was sexy. Um, <laughs> No, we just talk about cars on a daily basis when we're driving. Anyway. Yeah, no, I'm, I mean, I'm keen, but it's pretty sad. Like, I've been playing, literally, where, where we play footy is kind of, I've played this, like, twice a, twice a year. Or twice, or once every, you know, turn one and turn two. Yes. So, to never play there again. Something that's probably uh, a bit sad. Yeah. Considering, yeah. Are the boys gonna tough it out, or is it a ah, or is it an emotional day? I think it's an emotional day, to be honest. Aww. All the boys are probably a bit uh, what a cute. bit sad I to be tough. leaving the leaving the Maldi Banyo, but yeah. Hope we can get get a win, one last thing, and hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah. Good luck, good. everyone. Except Back. for the two reversing, because oh, okay. so we can't say the name of the school. We probably you'll probably hear it in the vlog, but um. They're rival schools. They are, we are. Yes. Looking to get a couple wins. Couple wins, couple mm, beefy kind of. Well, there will be a few scraps. Carrot. A few scraps. There will be a few punch ups. Yes. In the early seconds. Basically, a lot of school spirit is what we're hearing. Is that right? Yeah, pretty much. Great. A lot of school spirit. Okay, we'll like, see you there. Yes. Yeah. Settle. Good. Yep. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Oh.
What a DIY queen. I'm so proud of the boys. He was um he was complaining about going to Spotlight. He's like, I went to this counter and then they sent me downstairs and then no one was at that counter. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, That's so cool. cool. I think Holly's gonna come over. They're so quiet. like one of the firsts the boys from first is hosting it so should be good hey yep. yeah. also congrats on your win we haven't really updated yeah, the vlog. i you. told them that 
you won, but I didn't. I don't think I said that Pat's lost. But I mean, no, Pat's Pat's won. I mean, first loss. I don't know why I said Pat because I was thinking that Pat's won. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll, we'll oh, later. I don't have a voice. But oh, this looks. I mean, I'm not in the light. That's okay. <laughs> hey everyone. Hey, do you want to update me since you thought reminded me to vlog? Oh. <laughs> so basically, we just got ready at Bronte's yeah, house. Yeah, we got ready at Bronte's house. Bronte's is Bronte and now that's we're talking. Heading to <laughs> a party, but we didn't really get dressed for it. No, we're in our pajamas. No. We're wearing our pajamas. We're wearing Great. our pajamas because we just want to be Bronte and Eve are wearing loose, eight, like loose shirts, and I'm just wearing the same thing I've been yeah. wearing the I'm entire like, day. Really? Mm. I'm wearing my pajamas. Ellie. <laughs> Bronte's wearing her pajama shirt. Thank you, Neve, for being my spotlight. That's right. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're on our way now. now, and it's at Anthony's. And I actually love Anthony so much. Have you guys met Anthony yet? I haven't no, met I haven't. Anthony. Okay, yeah, he's so lovely. Yeah, yeah, I will make sure we find him when we walk in so we can like thank him for the party. My grandma but yeah. asked me what party I was going to tonight because she knows I'm on that hashtag bender. <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> pre exam bender? Like, oh. Your grandma should come. Can I plus one it? I'm like, oh my god. What? I was, we plus one I was just kidding. No, it's not. Oh, I mean, the boys time. would love it. But I was yeah. talking to my grandma today. Sure. And is this vlog like, worthy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. This is <laughs> She's a shocking driver. Like, I think I'm going to die every single time I'm in the car with her. Yes. And I was like, Grandma, have you lost any points? Like, do you have all your points? Like, for your life? <laughs> like, demand She points. was like, oh, funny you say that. I actually don't. And I was like, oh, oh really? Like, not that I actually knew that. Because I did. <laughs> Neve's reaction. Because you're a shocking driver. And she was like, and I was like, oh, what happened? She's like, oh, I was in a 40 zone and I was going 90. Oh! And I was like, grandma! <laughs> what? Oh, and you drive like, it was a school zone or something. I'm not quite sure. I was like, oh, oh. Oh, what? You don't go 90 on a back street. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, wow. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's so weird. That's not like you okay. at all. Because we were zooming wow. down like... <laughs> yeah, thanks for sharing. My of the story, don't get in Bronte's grandma's car. Amen. Oh, I'll be in a car for short tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say something. Are you vlogging? My sister watches these. Don't vlog oh me. Oh my god, I was in her mouth class. That's it. Vlogging. <laughs> hey, so I'm with Lauren How? Stanton Hi, and Ellie. Who, Shout out, oh my god. Shout out to Bella McGrath. I know all the. Oh, just see what's the banning. I will, of course. All the foundations rubbed off my nose. Yeah. Bronte did my makeup, so. Oscar. I thought that was you. I was like, Oscar, do you want to be in the vlog? Yeah, come here. Come on, Oscar. Do you vlog on this? Uh, Look, I don't actually know, but yeah, Oscar. Hey. Um, second try scorer, Padua. First linebacker. Oh my god, I'm not putting that in. Hey, Oscar! I'm just a quiet six for this one. Six. Ew, don't put that. So that's going to be it for the weekly vlog this week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was a bit long. Um, and if it's a bit late, because I had a really good weekend, so that's really good. Um, but I didn't start editing the vlog until this afternoon when I got home, like on Sunday afternoon, so it should be up later tonight, like this evening, so hopefully it's not too late, but I did have a really good weekend, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!